Hi, good morning. Welcome to our math and number skills class. I'm so happy to be here with you. You are amazing. So we're done with our reading, phonics, and letters and sounds class. So today we're starting off with our math class. Do you know what day it is? Today is Tuesday. That's right. And what day was it yesterday? Yesterday was m m Monday, that's right. And what day will it be tomorrow? Tomorrow is Wednesday. And we're almost done with all our books. We're going to be done by the end of this week, just before summer vacation. You are incredible. Remember, yes, I can. Yes, I can. Okay, now close your eyes, close your eyes, close your eyes, open your eyes. This is the 80 family because it begins with an eight and ends with a zero. And this is the father of the 80 family because it begins with an eight and ends with a zero. Okay, all the family, the 80 family that is, begins with an eight. And then that, that's like their last name. And the one on the end, the ones, changes. Okay, are you ready? Here we go. 80 straws. We can count by tens. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80. Right. 81 grapes. How many tens are there? 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 1. <laughs> Super. 82 gum marbles. <laughs> 83 gumballs. 84 pencils. 85 a dime is worth 10 cents, and a penny is worth 1 cent. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80. 81, 82, 83, 84, 85. 86 bowling pins. 87 straws. 88 grapes. 89 marbles. Help me count them. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80. So 8, 10, and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 1. So 80 plus 9 is 89. Super duper duper. You are amazing. Now stop. Look. Listen, let's count by tens up to a hundred. Can you help me? 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. Awesome. Now, money, money, money in my pocket. Money, money. I know how to count it. A penny is worth cent. A penny is worth one cent. Money, money, money in my pocket. A quarter is worth 25 cents. A quarter is worth 25 cents. Money, money, money in my pocket. A dime is worth 10 cents. A dime is worth Ten cents, that's right. Money, money, money in my pocket. Money, money, I know how to count it. A nickel is worth five cents. A nickel is worth five cents. There you go. Awesome. Now, what time is it, Mrs. Clock? Ooh, look at this. So remember that the hour hand is short and the minute hand is long. 
So the hour hand is still pointing to the 12. And the minute hand's on the three. So between each number, there's five minutes. Five, 10, 15. So it's 12, 15. Super duper. Awesome, awesome. Yes, sir, we bub. Okay. Now, dun, 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 dun. let's get our number skills out and let's open up to page. Hey, I didn't even write it up on the board. Hey, teacher Christy, let's write. Let's do this. It says number skills pages 143. Through 146. Super! And can you read me the date? Could you help me? Let's read the date really quick, okay? Today is Tuesday, June. Is it the 21st today? No, sorry, Bob. It's the 22nd. <laughs> That's right. 2021. Okay, good thing we saw that. Yeah. Okay, so let's get our number skills out and let's open up to page 143 and let's make sure we write our name up at the top. And look, I see, see some turtles. They're super cute. Do you know that teacher Christy has five turtles in her house? Yeah, because Uncle Miguel adopted them. Mm-hmm, they needed a home. They were hurt and he took care of them and made them all better. So proud of him. Okay, they're really cute. So here it says one, color seven. So only color seven turtles, okay? You can do it. Number two says fill in the circle under the combination that tells how many there are all together. So we have three plus four equals, and make sure to, Watch out for the signs, if it's a plus sign or a minus sign, okay? You got this. And then we have some mushrooms. Okay, you've got it. Then it says three, match the clock with the times. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Oh, look, here's a bird and there's a nest with eggs. And it says the number tells how many eggs in all go in each nest. Draw the eggs needed to show the number of eggs in the nest. Color the picture. So for example, how many eggs do we need in this nest? Four, that's right. And how many do we have? One, two. How many more do we need? Two, that's right. Okay, you can do the rest. And here's an oral evaluation. Parents, can you make sure to take a video for teacher Christy, please? with this evaluation. Thank you so much. So this is page 144. Now let's go over to page 145. Look, there's a little girl and she has some flowers. Let's make sure we write our name at the top of the page. And one says color one half of each shape. Remember that we can have a hole and cut it into two pieces, equal pieces, and those will be halves. But here you're only going to color one half. One half. Remember the L is silent. Half. Okay. Two. Listen as your teacher reads the story problem. Are you ready? Here we go. Liz picked three daisies. There's Liz for mom and four daisies for grandma. How many daisies did she pick? Daisies are little flowers. Oh, remember we saw the song about the little daisy that was happy and thankful? Okay, very good. And last but not least, we're going to do page 146. Okay, and here it says add. You got this. Two plus three equals Five, that's right. Write the answer to the combination your teacher says. Are you ready? Listen carefully. Two plus two equals, write it down. Two plus two equals 
Good. Now let's go to the next one. 3 plus 3 equals... 3 plus 3 equals... Write it down. The little froggy. The little froggy note. He's holding up the note right there. So we did 2 plus 2, 3 plus 3. Now let's do 4 plus 4 equals... 4 plus 4 equals... Good. 5 plus 5 equals... Good. Super. Now it says complete the calendar. Your teacher will tell you where to begin. So I want you parents to help with this. This is a calendar for the month of June. Tell your child where to start. What day was the 1st of June? Look it up. Okay, I'm going to leave you that as an assignment and make sure you fill in the right dates. Remember, there's how many days in June? 30 days, half September, April, June, and November. So there's 30 days in the month of June. Your parents will tell you where to start. Okay? All righty, that was our class for today. We're almost done. You're doing great. Keep up the good work. Remember, yes, I can. And before we finish, let's do our growing poem. Should we do our growing poem? I think we should. Here we go. It's called Growing. One, two, three. When I started kindergarten, I couldn't have felt smaller. But I've been growing, growing, and not just growing taller. I've learned to read. I've learned to write. I've learned my numbers too. And there are many other things that I have learned to do. Kindergarten's over now, but I am not afraid because I know I'm ready to enter the first grade. Yay! Are you learning the poem with me? You are amazing. Once you know it, Take a video and send it to Teacher Christy, okay? Mwah! We still have a few more days to learn the poem. You've got this. You're awesome.